Hi, first grade. It's time for our math lesson. So today I'm gonna to do my math lesson a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you my computer screen and then I'm gonna go over some things with you on my computer screen and then I'm gonna take you to a video where we get to watch Annie and Moby discuss the same thing that Mrs. Zimmerman taught you. So maybe it's another way to hear it. Hopefully you remember it a little bit better. This is my deck, you see? This is inside my house, this is my door. I have a, uh, you get to see a little bit of my backyard here, a little bit, so. Um, it's a nice day, and so I thought I would come out here to do it out here, because it's not as loud out here as it is in my house. So, I'm gonna show you my screen, um, and then, We'll talk for a minute about what I want you to learn. Today we're gonna to talk about fact families. We don't need that. We're gonna talk about fact families. And so we're gonna use these, um, we're gonna use these squares. Oh, Mrs. Norman needs to fix something. There we go. We're gonna use these squares to help demonstrate fact families. Now if we were at school, I would use linking cubes to help you with this. So we're gonna imagine that these squares are like our linking cubes. We could snap them together and stuff like that. So we're gonna talk about fact families. Facts, as we know, those things that God created that never changes, we know about our math facts. And with math facts, you can have four facts in a fact family. So let me demonstrate for you. How many linking cubes are here? Can you count them? One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna pull down a set of white linking cubes. All right, how many linking cubes are here? One, right? So when we take four white linking cubes and we add one blue linking cube, then we would say four plus one equals five. Do you see that right there? So we know that four plus one equals five, and I'm gonna put that right over there beside it, okay? That's the fact that teaches us, um, that's the first fact in our fact family. Um, there's some things we can notice, four plus one equals five, okay? Let's compare it to the next one. Next, I'm gonna take one blue linking cube, and I'm gonna add four white linking cubes. Now, if you notice, it's the same number of linking cubes, right? Also, we use this number four and we use this number one, but they're switched. Remember, Mrs. Zimmerman gave you a silly term called the swapper dopper hood. We swap or dopped. So we swap or dopped four and one. Here it was four plus one, here's one plus four, but the answer is the same. So these are in the same fact family, these are addition. Now let's think of something else. Let's take four, let's, Imagine that we started with five linking cubes, okay? So we start with five linking cubes, and we're going to take away one. So we're gonna imagine that that one is not there anymore. Let me exit out with the color you can see. Okay, so we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna make it go away. So we're familiar with Xing out to show someone away. So we had five, but we took one away. Well, this changes things a little bit. Now that one says five, the number we started with, minus four, uh-oh, this one swapped. There we go. This one shows five minus one equals four. So let's move this group down here so you can see. Five, come on now, five minus one equals four. Oh. Oh, brother. Okay. Get it? All right, five minus four equals one. Now we're going to start with five again. We're going to start with five again. Only this time we're going to take away four. So five minus four, taking away all four of these, equals, that's a funny looking X, isn't it? Five minus four equals one, there's one left, okay? So what I want you to see here is about this fact family. Let's take a look at this fact family here. These are all the facts in this fact family. So take a look at all of these, and here's what we notice, all right? When we look at this, we see that four plus one equals five, one plus four equals five. We see that these numbers are the same. 
Then we see five minus one equals, sorry, five minus four equals one, and five minus one equals four. The things we notice is that there's two plus signs and two minus signs, that we have three numbers in here. We have four, one, five, one, four, five, five, four, one, five, sorry, five, one, four. So a fact family uses three numbers and it uses two different signs. In the video, they'll call them operations. They'll talk about that, okay? So I want you to take a minute to watch this video. This is a fact family. We could have many different kinds of fact families. You could have three plus six equals nine, six plus three equals nine, nine minus six equals three, nine minus three equals six. And that would be another fact family. What other fact families can you think of? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up this video of Annie and Moby. And they're gonna talk about it a little bit more. And I'm gonna listen and talk along with you while they um, do this video. Okay, listen closely. This is very important. You need this for second grade. I asked one of the second grade teachers and they said, yes, we do that every day. So I want you to listen closely. You need this as you climb. <laughs> I'm drawing a family. See? I know that's a family, but this is a fact family. Fact family. What is a fact family? A math fact is a number sentence. A fact family is a group of related math facts that have the same numbers. These number sentences show how you can add or subtract using only 5, 3, and 2. When you look closely at a fact family, you'll notice patterns. Yep, 3 plus 2 and 2 plus 3 both equal 5. The order you add the numbers doesn't matter. You can swap. Them. What other patterns do you see? You're right. When you subtract one number in the family from five, you get the other number. Fact families always have three numbers and four math facts and use two operations. No. So she said. Fact families always have three numbers and four math facts and use two operations. And she'll explain this. Operation means the kind of sign that you use. So it's either addition or subtraction here. So there's three numbers, four, three, and seven, three, four, seven, seven, three, four, seven, four, three. There's three numbers. There's four facts, one, two, three, four. Two of them are addition and two of them are subtraction. Not that kind of operation. In math, an operation is a way to solve a math problem, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. What are examples of addition and subtraction fact families? Let's add and subtract using only the numbers 5, 4, and 1. These are the numbers that we used when I showed you how to do it earlier. So you'll see, you already know some things that they're already telling you. Well, I know that 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. We know that 1 plus 4 is also equal to 5 because the order you add numbers doesn't matter. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. So 5 minus 4 is equal to one. These facts show how five, four, and one are all related and part of the same fact family. Now, I like to think of the numbers as a family of silly monsters. <laughs> you came up with a fact family too? Let's see. How do you add and subtract using only nine, six, and three? Well, I know 6 plus 3 is equal to 9, 
That means 3 plus 6 is also equal to 9. Hmm. 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. That means 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So these facts show how 9, 6, and 3 are related. They're a fact family. Addition and subtraction fact families. Do you notice, just for fun, that their little legs are the same number as is on their body. So the one with nine has nine legs, and the one with six has six legs, and the one with three has three legs. You probably already caught that because you guys are so smart, but I just want to tell you that. Always have two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. How can you add and subtract using only ten, eight, and two? Look at their horns. Well, I know eight plus two is equal to... 10. 10. So that means 2 plus 8 is equal to 10, too. 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. Then that means 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. It's a family. Not quite, Moby. Okay, so we're going to stop there for now. I just wanted you to see some things. If we were in the room, we could really... um do a lot of things with linking cubes and with um, counting bears and see how they can make families. You could do this at home. You could do it with Legos. You could make little fact families with your Legos or draw pictures like she did with the monsters, okay? So what I want you to know is that fact families have, um, they have uh, three numbers. They have two types of facts, addition and subtraction is what we're learning. And there's always four facts. And you just swap in the numbers around, okay? So when you're adding, the two in the front can be swapped. When you're subtracting, you start with the biggest number, you subtract one of the smaller numbers, and you get the other number. And then you can switch those smaller numbers around, okay? All right. I hope you have a great day. I miss seeing you guys so much. I hope you're doing a good job. Keep pressing on. And we'll see you again later.